we did really good. <laughs> that was a 1757, second fastest time in today's slack. Fallon Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo, baby Flo. <laughs> she went to world championship. And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. And the victory lap. Ellen Taylor will win. She's riding a new horse, a young horse, out of a champion flow. She has absolutely been unstoppable. She wants to say hello. She says, what's up, Flowies? Watch out, Flowies. <laughs> What's up Flomies? Welcome back to my channel. You guys, we are in Reno, Nevada, and this is a really big deal to me. I think the last time that I was here was 2014. And the reason I haven't been back in seven years is because one, last year, COVID things, and two, um, this place is super horribly inconvenient in the parking lot. I know that seems crazy. You would have to be here to understand that it is like desert hot, well over 100 degrees every single day, and the parking is really crazy. It is a concrete jungle of just absolute craziness. So it is a little bit tough to like care for our horses like normal. So we're gonna have to wait till the sun goes down, wait till after the rodeo, take our horses on walks every day, try to find a place that has really nice soft ground. So to say it's inconvenient is the craziest thing ever, um, is an understatement of the century, but it's Reno. There's a lot of money to be won. I believe there's, I don't know, I think, is there 67,000 to be won here? It's a lot of money. There's a lot of money added. Um, and I have three baby flow babies here. I'm gonna run hush money at this rodeo because it is really big wide open and it's a standard pattern. It's a hundred and something feet to the first sparrow or to the timer, so it's really crazy. Um, I need a lot of control. I need to know that I'm under control and I'm really, really ready to rock and roll. So it's gonna be an amazing run. Of course, I've run Baby Flo here, I've run Flojo here, and I've run Dr. Nick Barr here. So it's just really cool to have it all in the family, have these guys on the road, it's super sentimental. I'm not gonna run Flobot here. However, if I can catch an open arena, I wanna take him in there and ride him around just because of the nostalgia for me of having all these Baby Flo babies, descendants of Flojo and Dr. Nick Barr and all the other ones um, to just ride him around and such an amazing um, arena. This is a really prestigious rodeo. They give a set of spurs at the end. Like I'm doing this because like I'm trying to manifest it that there's going to be like the Reno spurs and like nobody takes the spurs off the little trophy thing. It's like a wooden trophy thing. So like, you know, hopefully I can give you POV of me being like, ah, because the spurs, the Reno spurs are everything. And I promised um, hush money if I won the spurs that she would never have to see me wear any so I'm hoping that she gives me a little extra gusto also we changed up um, some things nutritionally for hush money on the road so I'm happy to report that your girl is eating really good which has to mean a little bit more energy not that we need her to be more high energy but she's just got to feel better with more calories so anything that we can do it's like that movie uh, is it Secretariat or is it Seabiscuit where he comes running out and he's like red eight today like that's how I feel every day <laughs> Every single day that she eats, we're like, she ate tonight. Like it's so, that's, that's how we feel. Um, and we're trying all sorts of different stuff. And it looks like we found the magic mix for her. So we're very excited about that. All right, you guys, we're going to get into this crazy rodeo concrete jungle and let you guys see this prestigious, amazing rodeo here in Reno. Okay, so it's 9.55 a.m. Woo! It's 9... <laughs> <laughs> it's 9.55 a.m. Slack starts in five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and load everything up because Reno's super inconvenient. It's super inconvenient. Like we can't go over there saddle. I really can't bring my horse back over here because she needs a buddy and it's just a concrete jungle. So if we were to compare Reno's parking to a fast food joint, we give it a Taco Bell slash Burger King rating. If you know, you know. Um, we give San Antonio like a Chipotle rating. Um, and Houston would be Chick-fil-A. So <laughs> um, we're gonna go combat that with all of the cool things that Tactical has made, um, especially my grooming and boot bag. So we're gonna take all of that over, put it in the back of the truck and unload it over there so that she can have friends around her. Um, this morning is the first round and tonight is the second round. Normally on a standard pattern, you wanna be like a 17, four or five and that would be really great and consistent. And today it's just like, like, you know, shooting for them 16, nine goals. I haven't ever been there on this group of horses. But that doesn't mean that I'm not ready. So that's what we're aiming for. Um, I'm gonna be proud either way because a five-year-old running at Reno without any exhibitions or seeing the arena at all is a really big deal. Um, but 
we're shooting big. I'm not just trying to be good enough and pet my pony. I'm trying to like, let's get in there, have some fire in our belly and actually win this thing. Also something that I see a lot of competitors do is just think good enough is good enough. While I do want to be a really great sportsman and be really kind and um, really not try to overestimate what my animals can do, I at the same time want to have a fire in my belly and I feel like a lot of people lose that when they compete and they just go, no, that was good enough. And I think that there's you know, a little bit of push that we need to give ourselves. So today, tonight I'm wearing purple because it's purple night at the rodeo. So today I'm gonna wear red. I don't know why, it just feels like I should. Also, I stopped by the Carrie Kelly booth and asked them if they would remake this slow twist O-ring for Hush um, in medium weight and asked them if they would put dollar signs on the outside because like Carrie Kelly stuff is the coolest. And the girl there was like, why don't we put flowers in money? Like. Flojo, and I was just like, ah! So, coming in hot, flowers and money, custom O-ring with a slow twist. I'm gonna be one of the cool kids. Time to get ready. I've decided to go with red, like I said before, so I'm gonna wear the Sedona performance shirt. You guys see me wear this a lot. I don't normally wear a lot of red, but for some reason, I don't know if it's because Hush Money's Bay. I don't know why, but I tend to lean toward like really bright stuff on her. I always wear bright stuff, but I feel like I wear a lot more red on her. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna get changed right now. You guys can grab your performance rodeo shirts at ranchdressing.com. Um, go check it out because there's new stuff launching almost every single day. And we are about to restock all of the stuff and things. So I'm very excited about that. Okay, I'm gonna get changed. Baby. Oh, that's her baby. Hush money. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. She's just five, so we're excited. That's awesome. Yeah, sweet girl. Yeah. How old is she? Five. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're very excited. We did really good. <laughs> that was a 1757, second fastest time in today's slack. Um, crazy like she's getting really finished she worked so beautifully i feel like i'm giving like a really bad after run interview like she's good thanks reno like <laughs> that's what i'm doing but it was really great i was at the third barrel for 35 minutes 
or Hush Money would have like really stuck it on them. Um, the ground here is really tricky and it changes day to day with the weather. So today it was a lot more like slidey. So horses were like moving past the barrels. Um, where yesterday it had a little bit more moisture. Um, but today a lot of really good horses were just going by barrels that don't normally go by barrels. So I only had two people before me, so I need to ride a lot more conservative and just like really, really aim her feet. It worked out super good. If I can teach you anything about barrel racing or life, that is study, 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 study all situations. Because had I not known to kind of read the ground really efficiently, and I'm not gonna get it right every time, but I read that ground correctly today, may not read it correctly tonight or tomorrow, um, but it darn sure bought me half a second today because I could have very easily made the same run and been an eight or a nine, but she was a five and I'm so proud of her. I'm just proud that as a jockey, I just didn't get in her way. So we're at the third for a long time. We got hung up down there and tonight I'm just hoping that she, you know, matures beyond that little spot and knows exactly where to put her feet to be even more efficient. But we're gonna just try for the same thing twice. That'd be good enough for us. I'm super excited to introduce to you our next guest. She's a world champion. She's a fan favorite, and she's one of my personal favorite barrel racers. That is none other than Fallon Taylor. And Fallon, we're so excited to have you on the show. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much. You had a great morning this morning in Slack, and the barrel race, very respectable time. Thank you're you. on a different horse. All the fans know you on Baby Flow. We love Baby Flow, but now you're getting to ride her babies, which is so exciting. It's so cool because I have four generations on the ground. I have three baby flow babies with me as my first, second, and third string horses. Um, I've worked a long time to get these horses here and ready and to just have a really good time in slack this morning when so many horses had trouble was just like, whoa, we're really doing it. Right, anybody that knows horses or knows barrel racing knows that it is such a long process to raise and train your own colts and then to get them to a rodeo level. I've got to know, so are tough. they like her? Are they like Baby Flo? So Hush Money, which is who I ran today, she was trotting down the, the little alleyway like coming out and somebody goes, is that Baby Flo? And I go, how'd you, I mean, close. Yeah, she looks like a clone, kind of. but she's bae. Um, but all of them do have a little bit of her personality. We've been really grateful that every stallion we've bred to has just made a phenomenal cross. So of course, we give a lot of credit to such an amazing mare and they're so many talented stallions now so we've we've tried them all right it's got to be so special to you oh. to get to have that next era of your barrel horses there and this one that you're on flows hush money what's she like what's he like so she is really cool she's five years old she stands 16 hands tall but she's really narrow she looks like a miniature racetrack thoroughbred she's really really tiny she'll remind you of baby flow 2012 where she's just got a really dynamic style she's really really cool um, and she's so similar to baby flow that it makes my job very easy um, she's been very very easy she's already won i think three rodeos she's been on the road for about 60 days so it's just you know that's not normal that's not normal we're very grateful well, from a training perspective, you said she's five years old. To throw a five-year-old into the rodeo situation, that's a whole other ordeal in itself as well. It, you know, Reno, we're here in a carnival. There are fireworks two minutes after the barrel race. Right. There's a lot of factors, and the energy here is very electric. So I have to master, I'm an energetic person. I have to master, like, controlling my heart rate coming in the arena and acting like it's slack all over again tonight. So we'll see how good I do. Right, because it's such an exciting arena. The crowd, especially when you go, I already am predicting this the crowd is going to lose their minds whenever you go up that alleyway they have been all week but especially when Fallon Taylor when you get up there and how do you think your horse is going to handle it are you excited I think she lives for it I think she loves it I wouldn't put her in a situation that I felt like would compromise the integrity of her training or our future together because we want to be together for a very long time I don't sell these guys so they're for me for a very long time so if I didn't think she would handle it wouldn't handle it she wouldn't be here I think she's going to do phenomenal for me tonight really excited to watch it and Fallon I know you've been to Reno many years how has it treated you in the past Reno has always been a really good rodeo but my dad keeps telling me I haul him to all these rodeos he keeps telling me we've been to these rodeos but not on these horses so you know don't judge these rodeos in the past some rodeos are better luck than others um, but he tells you like hey just you haven't been on these horses um, baby flow has just kind of been okay here and it seems like hush money is already liking it a lot more right it's a different horse even though she is out of baby flow right. different experience you have to have a different perspective and something outside of horses with you Fallon 
Alan, is I what I love about you as a barrel racer is that you have such a fan base, and everywhere you go at these rodeos, I've seen you behind the scenes. These fans, they love you. They want to take photos with you. You're always so humble, so gracious. Thank is, you so Is that much. something that you enjoy to get to run into all your fans? I love it because I kind of was pushed out of the way by a barrel racer that I really looked up to at a really young age, and I was kind of pushed out of the way and um, told that that person didn't have time to sign my little poster that I had, and that like traumatized me as a child. And I promised that if God would ever grace me with some talent to be able to get to that level, that I would never push somebody aside. Um, so hopefully I've never done that. I've tried to really, really take time for every single person. No, you definitely do. I've watched you from behind the scenes for Thank years. You. In the warm-up alley, at Slacks, pretty much anywhere. As soon as we get off this show here, I bet you have a whole line of Thank fans you. and you always take the time for them. And I know that means a lot to everybody. And I even feel like we see that now with some of the NFR barrel racers. They have taken that from you. You see right. a lot of them, like Emily Miller, or Beisel, she always takes photos with everybody. Right. And you almost set that precedent for barrel racers to be a celebrity, but to also really lead the next generation, which is very cool. The sport dies if we don't try to grow it and if we don't lend something back to it. I was named after a show called Dynasty, and I've wanted to leave a dynasty. And if you just do it for yourself, you don't leave a legacy, you don't leave a dynasty. But if you continue to inspire, I, my goal is to be in a walker at the Thomas and Mac one day <laughs> and somebody going, hey, you're the reason that I made it here. You're the reason that I'm going down the alleyway today. You know, I saw your story and then I pushed myself. So, um, you know, just on a pursuit of doing that. Well, you're a very long ways from a walker, but you've already <laughs> done that for a lot of barrel racers. And your shirt right here, you wore purple. It's yes. about as Reno as it gets. You have your own clothing company. Tell us about this. So this is Ranch Dressin'. This is Neon Lights. Um, I had this special ready for the Reno Rodeo. Tonight is Purple Night. It's the Man Up campaign. And so it fit perfectly. And I can't wait. I have purple tack. I've got a matching saddle pad. I am absolutely ready. I've got tactical tack and Ranch Dressin' on my body. I'm ready. You were very on theme. <laughs> and for such a great cause, especially yes. here in Reno. And Fallon, I know that you're entered up. I've seen you entered up at quite a few rodeos this year. What are the goals that you have set for yourself? and your three horses this summer? Well, I have big goals. Last year, I went to the WPRA Tour Rodeos trying to chase down a spot to qualify for those bigger rodeos. Right. Unfortunately, all of those rodeos were canceled um, and with the exception of Calgary, which doesn't count for the standing. So now I'm on a mission to re-qualify for the oh. same thing that I did last year. All over again. All over again. So I feel like my horses are more prepared. I feel like they're um, more seasoned and I've got more bullets in the chamber to go down the road and really make a splash. It's so exciting and fans love to follow you. We're doing, of course, 100 rodeos in 100 days here on the Cowboy Channel. Almost all the top rodeos are going to be live on TV. What are some of the ones that you're really looking forward to this year? This is the one that I wanted to come to the most. Um, also really excited about Prescott and Greeley, which I'm really, really pumped. I haven't been to Greeley in years and years, so I'm really excited to go to that rodeo as well. Are you going to be rotating horses or is there, are you going to mostly stick with uh, Hush Money or what's your plan there? I'm going to let her tell me, but I'm ready at any moment to jump onto Flowbot or Lolo, so I've got them ready. Um, I'm just going to let them tell me where they want to go and if they need a break. These things always talk to us if we listen, so... What do you like most about the summer run? I know it is very, very hard on barrel racers and horses, so many miles, but there's a lot of positivity to it, too. It's one of the most exciting times of the year. I think that the worst time of the week for a professional cowboy or cowgirl is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We really don't know what to do with ourselves on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So for this schedule, somebody's catching a plane, somebody needs a ride. I mean, we're rocking and rolling. It's the coolest thing ever to watch these rigs pass in the middle of nowhere and you just wave to somebody like, hey, good luck. I know you're on the way. I hope you don't have a blowout. You know, you're pulling over for people. It's just a really cool, it's like being on The Amazing Race. But it's not funded by a show. <laughs> it's the amazing summer rodeo yes. race is pretty much what it is. Fallon, I love that you constantly spread a message of positivity. You're Thank so you. inspiring to so many people. We wish you the best of luck tonight in the Reno Rodeo performance <laughs> on you. Hush Money. I'm so excited. So exciting <laughs> to you. watch you. We appreciate you being here on the show. When we come back at the Reno Rodeo tailgate party, Justin McKee and I are going to make our picks. Competition is getting pretty hot here at Reno. We'll be right back. Okay, it's time to make this second run here at the Reno Rodeo. <laughs> Flowbot has been aggravating us all night. I'm just waiting for him to grab a hold of me again. It's Purple Night. It, they have a Man Up campaign against domestic violence tonight, and their color is purple. So, of course, we went neon lights, and we got Tactical Tack to go with it, so I'm really excited about that. Poppy's on the warm-up squad over here, rubbing on Hush Money, getting her ready. We're just very excited. I'm so pumped. 
Um, we're hoping for an improved run and just go out there and do the exact same thing with just a little bit more speed. Oh, you are an equal opportunity employer. Ladies in the grandstands, are you ready for the girls of the Maryland Mason? So proud of Hush Money. Let me be real though, I pouted for 2.3 seconds. I did for real, was just like, gosh dang it. Behind the first barrel, like all the kind of sticky spots that you see behind the barrels, that wasn't Hush Money's fault, wasn't my fault. That's just part of this game. Some days you're gonna draw really, really great ground. I'm not saying I drew bad ground, but on a five-year-old horse with limited experience of exactly how to deal with that kind of bottom of the barrel ground, um, it's tough. So after I pouted, cause that's normal, right? Like we're gonna do that. Then I started to remember how proud I was. Five years old, she's never been to a rodeo of this magnitude ever. And every time she heard the people cheering and screaming before I ran, you could feel her little heart flutter. So I just stepped off of her and I petted on her. She's a horse that the more I pet on her, the better she gets. So that's a really cool switch because baby Flo definitely was not into that or is not into that. 
So I just stepped off, petted her a little bit, loosened her cinch, tightened her back up. And when I went to go in, like, I wanted to be up a little closer to the gate before I got started, but I went up there and she would have let me held her a little bit more. I wish I'd have been a little bit more diligent of a jockey on the way to the first barrel so that she didn't get so kind of like on the muscle. But I still think that she did so phenomenal. Like we haven't even been to, I don't think 20 rodeos together yet. So this is huge. She didn't have earplugs in. She wasn't sedated. She didn't get an exhibition before. She's never been to this rodeo before. Like all of those things, just a really nice mare running barrels trying her heart out with the best girls in the world and we clocked right with them too this perf like we were among right there in the hunt and i couldn't be more proud of her second fastest in the slack the top five from tonight with nfr qualifiers i'm very 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 proud so it's okay to be disappointed and proud at the same time but you can't be grateful and scared at the same time so i'm going to be grateful for the opportunity to be able to hit another rodeo we've got an 18 hour drive ahead of us so we're going to break it up into a couple of days we'll see you at the next one i hope that you guys enjoyed all of reno this was such a fun rodeo i'm sure that you love the behind the scenes pretty sketchy i don't know if you guys could see the like electrical cord over the over the alleyway anyway this was an amazing rodeo and we can't wait to come back you guys, we have a full rodeo season gonna come at you. Boom, 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 boom. So many rodeos in a row, so I can't wait for you to be a part of that. Make sure you're subscribed so you're the first one to see it. Ding the notification bell, that way I can shoot you a little notification immediately when a video goes up so you can see how we do it the next one. As always, count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. And, you know, okay, have a great day. <laughs>Did you love this vlog but wish you could get even more training tips and horse content to apply to your training sessions? Make sure to check out thehorseboss.com. I'm excited to be your coach.